All right, well, welcome to episode four of Friday Fruit Clips. We got some Jim Dandies for you today. So with that, let's get started. All right, so first up, we've got Robin Bullock. Now, if there was one word that I would use to describe Robin Bullock, it would be spectacular. But not, not like amazing spectacular, more like Forrest Gump spectacular. This guy, I got to tell you, so I'm going to show you our first clip, and then we're going to comment as we go. Here we go. What? What the heck? What? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Wrong clip. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on here. Let me try again. All right. Here we go. So right now what we've got is Robin Bullock. He is a guest on the His Glory channel on Rumble. Amanda Grace is there. I want you to listen carefully because Robin Bullock is going to tell you a story that he said came from God. So listen to the details here. Here we go. You know, I'm not known for being a real tactful prophet on a lot of things. And I'm going to tell you something. When I heard these words, the Lord brought back an old movie to me. And I don't watch television. I don't watch movies. I don't watch anything like that. But this was an old one. And he showed me a movie about Billy Jack. I don't know if you remember the movie, Billy Jack. But there was the first one he ever appeared in was called The Born Losers. Billy Jack and the Born Losers. And he confronted a motorcycle bad outlaw gang and he was going to free this person they had captive and they wouldn't turn them loose so he took an m1 and he pointed it right at the leader right and he told him he said turn them loose he said no no i'm not turning them loose they said if you don't turn them loose if we don't turn them loose what are you going to do he said i'll shoot you right between the eyes they said no he said i'll count to three one, two, three, and he pulled the trigger. When that person fell, he pointed the M1 at the next one and said, now, I'm going to count to three. They said, oh, no, they're loose now. We turn them loose right now. Mm -hmm. The Lord brought that back to my mind. I now, I want you to pay attention to what he said. This is the second time that he said the Lord brought this back to his mind. Just make a note of that. I'm not saying anybody's going to do this, but God brought that to me. This is what he said. That's the third time he said, but God brought that to me. Keep that in mind. He said, I gave Joe Biden an opportunity to repent. He didn't. And now he's lost it. And he's a spectacle to the nations. And so he's done. And now he's turned to all of his followers and his handlers and he said, I'm giving you a chance to repent. And if you don't do it, the same fate awaits you. You're done. So it, they need to really take heed today. I don't throw words around. And I don't say things just because I want to say them. No, he absolutely just says things because he wants to say them. And he does throw words around. This guy is a storyteller. And I have no malice toward anybody. You know, I have no malice towards anybody. But here, God brought me a scene from an old movie where a guy blows another guy's head off. All right? Remember this. But when the word of the Lord comes to me. Here he says that this story was the word of the Lord. I have to tell it. Amen. Amen. Everyone that supports Biden right now, his handlers, all those that surround him in his fraudulent cabinet, the Lord is looking at you now, and he's giving you chance to repent. And if you don't repent and come clean, the same thing you see happening to him is now waiting for you. And I saw that. Take heed to what has happened to him. Take heed to it, lest it be twice on you. For this thing is about to come forth. And when it does, there's no stopping it. Time is almost over. 
And already I hear the ceiling cracking on this whole fraudulent thing. And when it breaks, debris will fall like you've never seen it fall. And then the glory will come. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I know, I know people will probably snip this out now and throw it everywhere. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's snip this out and let's throw this everywhere. Here we go. All right. So congratulations on making it through Robin Bullock's ridiculous story. Remember, he said three or four times that this was from God, that this was the, the word of the Lord. He did say that. So the person you're looking at right now is the character of Billy Jack. There were several B-grade movies made back in the 70s on Billy Jack. Who was Billy Jack? Well, his character was half Indian, half white. Billy Jack was a vigilante that protected the Indian reservation against the evil white man. And he used massive violence to do so. He was an expert in Kung Fu, his character was, and he often used weapons uh, to, you know, fight back against the evil white man. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you this scene that the exact scene that Robin Bullock said God brought to him. Remember, Billy Jack was holding a motorcycle gang at gunpoint and demanding the release of a hostage. Here we go. I'll play this for you. I'm not going to turn the audio up, but right now Billy Jack's got a gun pointed at this guy. and He's saying, release this hostage or I'm going to put a bullet between your eyes. A little warning here, there's some really, <laughs> you're about to see it, so you've been warned. There's the hostage, she's laying there. This guy is saying, I don't believe you. And now Billy Jack is gonna start with his countdown. Here's the gun pointed at him. There's one. Hey man, he means business. And again, this was a B grade movie, very low budget. And there's the shot. Looks like somebody popped a zit on this guy's forehead. And so this is what Robin Bullock says God brought to him. God didn't bring him scripture. Maybe there wasn't enough scripture for this particular situation. But Robin Bullock is telling you that God brought him a movie scene from the 70s about a character named Billy Jack as it being some sort of metaphorical example of what's going to happen to Joe Biden and then those around Joe Biden, I guess, if they don't relinquish power to the rightful president, Donald Trump. This is so utterly ridiculous. So what do you think? Do you think God brought this scene, that God truly brought this scene to Robin Bullock to tell hundreds of thousands of people that this was on God's mind and he wanted this shared? Do you think that is? Let's look at the character of Billy Jack. So in this clip of another Billy Jack movie, he's in a sweat lodge and he has starved his body of water and nutrients. And here, this, because I told you these were low budget movies. Here's your demon appearing, right? He's seeking spirits because he practices Native American pagan religions or, you know, and so he's on a vision quest where he's seeking answers. Uh, I believe he actually says from his inner demon. I'm not kidding you. These movies are on YouTube. You can go watch this. Now, as Billy Jack begins to hallucinate, he's met by several familiar spirits. Now, you're about to see a woman here. She is a spirit as, again, Billy Jack is in the midst of a hallucination. And she's going to reveal information as to what the problem is. Listen closely. Let me make sure that volume's up. What the white man calls the spread of civilization is Christianity and so-called democracy have a secret shadow, greed and power. Christianity and democracy, I guess they lump them together, have, have a secret shadow greed what, what did she say greed hold on a second is christianity and so-called democracy have a secret shadow greed and power greed and power christianity is nothing but greed and power 
This is Billy Jack. This is the character that Robin Bullock wants you to believe God brought to him. Yeah, Robin, use this as a good example. Is this just bananas? Now, here is another woman. She also is playing the part of a familiar spirit while Billy Jack is still in the midst of his hallucination. I'm not going to play the audio. I don't want to get a strike on the copyright. But here she's telling Billy Jack in the midst of his vision quest to walk around and slap different types of people. Here, who do you think this is? Now, they don't come out and say that his name is Jesus, but he certainly is a messianic character right here. And here comes Billy Jack. For some reason, I don't know why Billy Jack is red, but he walks up and he's going to just haul off and slap uh, this Jesus character across the face. And again, there you go. So they bash Christianity throughout these movies. And uh, again, I wanted to show you this because this is how stupid Robin Bullock is. But I can only say what I hear. So he says, I can only say what I hear. Do you think God told him that now that you understand this ridiculousness? This man is not of God. He's a storyteller and he's, I, I'm not trying to be mean, but the man is too stupid to even understand what he just told the people to listen to. All right, next we've got somebody named Dr. Sharon Stone. Is she a doctor? I don't know. She's a self-proclaimed prophet. In this particular clip, she's sitting with Tomi Irayomi. I just did a video on him yesterday. They're having a conversation. She's telling a story. And it, it doesn't matter what she set up until now. I wanted to just include this clip because this is bananas. These alleged prophets are storytellers. So she went and did a bunch of stuff for God. And then I'm going to let you hear, and you'll see on the screen, what she says she did. Here we go. And so I went and did all those things that God asked me to do, and I have left out a few purposeful uh, uh, things that he asked me to do uh, in that. But uh, came back, knew I would accomplished whatever God wanted me to do, didn't know what it was, and now I'm in a, a, a big conference uh, in Texas, and I live here in England as well, but I was in a big conference in Texas, and the person on the platform calls me out and goes, I don't know what you have just done, or what prayer assignment, or what obedience you just done, but the Lord says you have just halted World War III before it's time. Wow. Now, I don't know too much about, about Dr. Sharon Stone. I may look into more of her alleged prophecies in the future. But this clip is absolutely bananas. The storytelling is one thing, but when they attribute to themselves self-aggrandizing accomplishments, I guess you couldn't even call this accomplishment, we should be thankful because for whatever she did, she halted World War III. And she was recognized at a conference in Texas for doing this. And she's telling hundreds of thousands of people this. And sadly, many of those people, I should say the majority of those people, believe this. So Dr. Sharon Stone halted World War III. When you say your prayers tonight, give thanks to God for Dr. Sharon Stone's obedience and her efforts to have prevented us from marching into World War III. Thank you, Dr. Sharon Stone. All right, so this next clip, we've got Amanda Grace, and standing next to her is the daughter of Kim Clement, one of the falsest prophets out there. They're on stage at the Reawaken America tour. This was from about a week ago or so. The Great Awakening, the Great Reset, the Wealth Transfer, New Apostolic Reformation, gobbledygook. And they're, like I said, putting on a show. So let's listen. But before I do it, I have to do something else that God told me to do, which is to put one of my dad's mantles on her myself. So this was his. Look at Amanda. She's honored, right? This is a big thing. People are clapping. They like to see their rock stars up on stage taking down the bad guys. And now... 
Donna here. I think her name is Donna Clement Petruska. She's going to load up Amanda Grace with super powerful weaponry in the form of a mantle. This was my dad. And I have a, a box that were just his personal mantles and I keep them all together in this little decorative box and God sent me and I don't do this often I've only done this for a few people but he very very specifically said read that and then put this on Amanda and purple is important because royalty is all he told me and so I'm royalty is still Amanda Grace is about to become I guess this is her version of getting knighted huh she's gonna be royal it's purple purple rain no that's Prince so uh, let's take a look that you're going to because God's going to start to show you more. Hug it in. Amanda's touched. Isn't this something? People are clapping. This is a show. Remember when Kat Kerr said, the prophet's got to put on a show, right? Anything except Jesus. What does this have to do with Jesus? Well, nothing. This is just the show because people have transferred, at least in their minds, the glory which belongs only to Jesus Christ, and they've placed the glory upon their prophets than he's ever shown you before and i had to do this today it had to be me oh and there's amanda she's wiping the tears from her eyes it's so touching he told me to give you one two chris and this was also my dad's because the two of you are together and you've been put on this together this journey We're going to take a little moment because we're friends, and this is an emotional moment for us. But God has chosen all of us. Can you hear, can you hear the people blowing the shofars out of the audience? There's a lot of people there. But make no mistake. For this moment. Um, I'll mute it here. This is a freak show. This is blasphemy against God. They're up there celebrating themselves, not a mention of Jesus. I'm sure it, sooner or later they will. They always like to throw a couple of verses in there to try to make it seem legit. But this is all about them. This is all about their rock stardom and how much people love them. It has nothing to do with Jesus. Look at this, this absolute ridiculous scarf around her. They call it a mantle. You know, I, I don't understand, you know, I guess I need to get a book on all these props that they hand out. I know Timothy Dixon and Robin Bullock had their wizard staffs, their Gandalf staffs. And what happened when they got those staffs? Did, did they increase in power? No. What's going to happen to Amanda now? Is she going to, maybe she'll start giving actual prophecies? No, that's not going to happen. Because these people don't follow Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity. This is a show. These are props. She's not going to start prophesying for real because they don't serve Jesus Christ. They're on the Reawaken America tour. They care about America. They care about Donald Trump. They care about watching Democrats get, visit, uh, get visits from the angel of death. This has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. These people are circus performers. They're sh uh, performers. They're show people. And just what a shame. And again, I'm going to say this uh, for you prayer warriors out there who serve Jesus Christ and love the word of God in truth and sincerity, pray against these false prophets because they are actively shipwrecking the faith of millions worldwide while they put on shows. Kim Clement, the father, the dad of this person right here, was a horrifying false prophet who made his living lying in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, if you come over to my channel, Go into my videos. You can scroll down. It wasn't that long ago, right here. This video right here. This is Stephen. I got permission from him. His channel is Eyes Like Fire Ministry. And he did a great... Uh, I got permission from him to repost his video. And Kim Clement was a false prophet. And this is an excellent video which documents all of his false prophecies. He never prophesied anything correctly. Uh, so feel free to check that out. All right, I wanted to show you one more clip. 
This is a channel. Her name is Mandy Ralph. I, I got uh, somebody left a comment. Uh, goes by the name of Dirt Fishing. <laughs> That's his channel. Or his channel name. So thanks, buddy. Uh, and so uh, here is a rapture predictor. And the reason I want to show you this is because uh, this woman is also actively shipwrecking faith. So I'm going to play about two minutes of this, and then I'll comment. Oh my gosh, guys. Jesus literally just showed me when he's coming. I'm freaking out. Okay, so not only did he give me the message, I'm about to cry. This is so amazing. Okay, I know in his word it says that, you know, that no one knows the time or the day, but he's been giving me secrets of the Bible the last three weeks, and he's been showing me things that, that are secrets. She's getting a lot of secrets from Jesus. Secrets. Is Jesus secretive? Just answer that question. And his hidden messages from the beginning. And guys, I pray everything in my head. I'm like freaking out. Okay, I, I asked for confirmation scriptures in my head after I got all of this because, you know, I am just so paranoid of being deceived by the devil. But he gave me 1 Colossians 3.11, which means Christ is in all. John 2.5, whatever he says, you do it. Ephesians 4, 9, he descended into lower parts of the earth. Matthew 2, 11, presented gifts to them. Genesis 1, 4, God saw the light was good. Joshua 1, 14, pass before your brethren and help them. Colossians 1, 4, since we heard your faith in Christ and love for all saints. Ephesians 2, 5, and when we were dead, made us live together in Christ. And then. So what she's doing right now, and this is what a lot of good, good deceivers do this. They kind of love bomb you with a bunch of scriptures that have absolutely nothing to do with what she is telling and going to tell you here and it, it just a lot of people think oh it must be legitimate she's quoting scriptures without fact checking her and she's under either under a massive delusion or she's being visited by familiar spirits who are lying to her in order to get her to make videos to deceive followers of christ when first john 4 11 where do you get that from the living water guys Oh my goodness. So it all happened because I was watching this video and it was talking about the uh, Jewish holiday coming up and the Lord literally started going like this. And then I started speaking in tongues. Okay. He gives me tongues sometimes when he really has like this message and he's trying to warn his kids and guys, if this doesn't happen on the 15th, you can delete my account and you can call me a false prophet because I believe in my heart. 100% this is from Jesus. And so she says that the rapture is going to happen on February 15th. Okay, and she says, if it doesn't happen, you can call her a false prophet. She'll delete her channel. Now, do you believe that? Of course not. She will not delete her channel. She will not call herself a false prophet. They never do. If she does, I'll be stunned. And then certainly pray for her because maybe she will have learned a lesson just like the millions and millions before her who have done this very thing. It's just so disappointed. She has no idea the damage that she's doing. And, and I'll, I'll explain it to you again, just as I have many times before. You get people that watch this video. Right now, this video's got... 7.7 thousand views. This was just put up six hours ago. What do you think that view count's going to be in 10 days? But many, possibly thousands of people will watch this. Maybe some who are, you know, thinking about coming to Jesus and then they'll feel the fear. They'll come to Jesus. They'll give their lives or so they think to, to Jesus. And then the 15th is going to come. Guess what's not going to happen? The rapture. And what do you think those people are going to do? In their own minds, they're going to feel foolish. They're going to feel silly. They got duped in by this hipster doofus wearing a beanie who is acting. And they'll conclude in their own minds that Jesus is not real, that this is all a farce, that this is all fake. And so they, they won't walk away from Mandy here. They'll walk away from Jesus Christ. Sh uh, faith shipwrecked. Faith dead. Because of what people like this do. Rapture predictors. Doing the same damage that false prophets are doing. 
shipwrecking faith. So certainly pray for this woman that she would stop. Maybe if this doesn't, or when it doesn't happen, maybe she'll come out and repent and stop paying attention to familiar spirits or other videos. She said, this all happened when I started watching a video and it had to do with the Jewish holiday. It's just such a tragedy. If you're listening to me, stand in the truth of Jesus Christ in truth and sober-mindedness. Serve him in sincerity according to his word. In 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 19, look what it says. Holding faith and a good conscience, which some, having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. Be sober-minded and serve the Lord in truth. Until next time.